Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my 9pan19 project pan. As always, I'm struggling with my blushes, but I have made some incredible progress on my contour palette. And we're down to almost just having two shades left. I think it's going very well. So let's go ahead and jump just into the blushes because there really is not much to report other than the fact that I did get a new, um, or I rearranged my Z palette so I had this bigger palette to be my everyday face palette. So the two shades that I'm going to talk about in the contour palette pop in right here and then I've got my blushes over here. It's a little messy, I just used the face powder, I gotta pull these all out and clean this down. But, so here are the blushes, like usual, I've been trying to focus on this one right here. I think I'm seeing a little bit of a dip. I don't know if there's actually a dip in it or if I'm just imagining it. <laughs> like wishful thinking on my part, but still been using it every day. I did hit my goal for this past month, which was to film that full face blush look based on Dorian Electra's makeup in the flamboyant music video. So I did do that. I had a lot of fun doing that. I also tweeted it to Dorian Electra and they liked it and retweeted it and I had a fangirl moment. <laughs> I kind of freaked out, but it's good. It's good. So I did do that. So I am going out of my comfort zone and doing some more looks and trying to experiment a bit more with the blushes, which I really, as at this point, that's all I can really ask for. Right? But yeah, I'm looking. I really can't tell if there's a dip or not. You guys let me know if you saw a dip in the blush. But uh, I think I would just be so happy to hit pan on one of these by the end of this project. <laughs> just one. I also did a big declutter week series. Thank you guys so much for everyone who liked the declutter week. But my experience with these blushes really helped inform me about the rest of my collection and really all the blushes that I had. And particularly didn't need. So that was really great. I'm glad I had the experience working with these blushes so that I could help curate my collection down a bit. All right, moving on to the contour palette. This is the Kat Von D contour palette and look how much progress we've made. Look at that. So I finally, let's start over here. I finally hit pan in my dark contour shade right here. This is totally used up. I used up the first bronzer shade completely. That's what's left over is from when I repressed it, but there really isn't much you can get off of that. I've been using this other bronzer shade every day now. Not too much progress yet, just because I did start using it. And this yellow shade right here, I did end up repressing it because it, the ring around the pan got too thin. And now there's literally just like a little bit down here and a little bit up here left and that's it. <laughs> Look at how empty this palette looks, guys. <sighs> I'm so proud of myself. I think I've done awesome with this. I was so happy to finally see Pan in this little contour shade because I was getting a bit worried. Um, but I think once you actually hit Pan in these shadows, not shadows, but in these powders, they do go a bit quicker. So I am hoping to get some more good progress and expand the Pan in this one. And as I'm using this now as my everyday bronzer shade, I've been using it today, I've been wearing it every day. I am hoping to see more of a dip and hopefully hit Pan in this by like... I would say September would be a good time to see Pan and like have to repress it. But I think with this at least, we are still on track, on par, to finish this completely by the end of 2019. So I think I'm doing great so far. I've had a really great month when it comes to my panning projects with the exception of one. One just totally fell off the wayside. But with this project, I think it's gone really well. I think, I think I'm just doing really well. And I just kind of want to keep that momentum going. <laughs> I'm gonna still keep using the blushes, maybe do some more avant-garde looks like the Dorian Electra video, which if you guys haven't seen that, I will link it up in the cards if you want to check out that full face video. And yeah, just keep using the highlight shade until that's gone. That'll probably be gone in less than a week. Um, and then I will bring out some other face powders to use instead but I think I'm doing great. So that's everything for this update. A bit of a quick update, but a good one, full of progress, and I'm very, very proud of myself at this point. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are doing a year-long project pan, let me know down below how your progress is going and if you think you're on track to finish by the end of 2019. Thank you guys again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.